Welcome people to this edition of Planet Earth Weekly News. Uh, I haven't been here for a week, but I am still looking and reading on one on on what is going on. A lot of swarms, earthquake on Yellowstone. Now in the New Madrid Fall, in Arkansas, where the dead birds fall. Uh, the X class flare from the sun that just hit Earth uh, yesterday and today. I'm. This is edition is different from other uh, editions. Why? Because in this edition, I want to show uh, what I, I am researching about, uh, I don't know if too many people don't know, many people know about Comet Alanin that uh, is due to get very close on September 10, uh, October 21, 18, 2011, this year. I'm reading also about the supposedly pull shift coming on March next month. But I am focusing now on Alanine. I'm gonna pause, uh, I'm gonna tell you what I'm looking. You can comment what you, you think. I am not a, a genius. But I am putting this video so to think. You will see, you think, and you say, mm, maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Maybe it's too far, maybe it's too close. But I was looking at the orbit of Comet Alanin in the NASA website. And curiously, I was trying to find the location about this object in some Google Earth or Google Sky, excuse me, Google Sky, but I can't find it anywhere. So I don't know how about the site. I have read that it is, it still is like 22,000 kilometers. I don't know if is that true or false but I read some something about that but what I'm going to show you and explain you is as uh, you remember and is still uh, the Google sky map is still hiding or ban they ban it they ban the some place in Google sky so you can see it so you can look at and some people near the audience belt because people say that Nibiru is coming from that way you know that uh, Comet Alanin have the same or alike like the same path of the supposedly planet X Nibiru the dwarf planet well yeah, and people say that it comes from the audience bell, something like that. So, look at this. I'm going to show you first the official NASA orbit from February 19, 2011 of Comet Alan. If you see, I draw a line from the sun, from the sun, to Alanin is a little bit up of the green line and the blue uh, line. I draw another line to show you where is the sun. They say sun, the imaginary life or imaginary life line. No, no, it's, it's right, okay. But you'll see, okay. Look where is Alanin look the line 
look the sun and this is the default orbit or image that comes up when the loading screen of the applet in the NASA website finish this is the f I don't I haven't moved it anything this is the first app so I was looking at this image I go to Google Earth and just grab the blacked out area by Google Sky that you will you are seeing now and I check mark it when I search so you see a square a little square and I search for the sun and I there's another square and I unzoom zoom out Google Sky so I mark I check here you see sun where it is and you see the black it out by Google Sky where it is and I put the imaginary line again so you see that the line the sun the black area and the imaginary line are alike like like people say that the comet earning is have the same try a uh, orbit of Nibiru or as uh, like the same of, of Nibiru the blacked out area by Google have like the same distance or line from comet Elanin and the Sun I will put both pictures and you can search it just search for sun, search for the blacked area put both, zoom out and you will see put an imaginary line and you will see it's like the same distance, like the same um, uh, location of the command and the sun in the NASA official website in the Google Earth I'm not saying this is uh, right or this is bad or uh, maybe I'm wrong but in both in the in both software the NASA orbit software and the Google Sky software you can see that they are look alike in the distance and if you put a or a orbit you can make with that point of the black area and the sun you can make the same orbit of the comet Alnin. Okay, you will see now the two pictures side by side so you can compare the lines, the black area and the sun. Another thing I'm gonna talk about is the definition of I, of L that I search in Wikipedia and I look it is look very interesting. Why? Because it say extinction event. An extinction event also known as max extinction, extinction level event, L or biotic crisis is a sharp decrease in the diversity and abundance of microcos microscopic life. They occur when the rate of extinction increases with respect to the rate of speciation. Because the majority of diversity and biomass on Earth is microbial, and those difficult to measure, recorded extinction events affect the easily observed biological complex component of the biosphere, rather than the total diversity and abundance of life. Over 99% of documented species are now extinct, but extinction occurred at an uneven rate. Based, based on the fossil record, the background rate of extinction on Earth is about 2 to 5 taxonomic families of marine invertebrates. Invertebrate. And vertebrates every million years. Marine fossils are mostly used to measure extinction rate because of their superior fossil record and strategic range compared to land organs. Since life began on Earth, several major mass extinctions have significantly exceeded the background extinction rate. The most recent Cretaceous tertiary extinction event, which occurred approximately 65.5 million years ago, 
was a large scale mass extinction of animal and plant species in a geological short period of time. In the past 540 million years, there has been five major events when over 50% of animal species died. There probably were mass extinctions in the Archean and Proterosic eons, but there before the Phanerosic, there were no animals with hard body parts to live a significant fossil record. Definitely, Comet Elanin is an extinction level event. No matter what you try to to think or what you try to read, Ale, as you see here, is an extinction level event. Ale 9, extinction level event 9. They they make Ale for the extinction level, but they put Nin for the 9-11, as you know. But this is very serious, people, because we don't know what is going to happen, but this extinction MS8 uh, micros microscopic life that it hurt animals. So we are seeing animals dying already. Fish, birds. And now we have an ally coming on uh, September, October this year. We don't know if this ally event is directly related to animals or this ally event is directly related to animals and people because absolutely Ella means for extinction level event and I, we need to take care of our families we need to, to, to store food uh, everything survival kits because this is very, very serious people I don't hear I haven't heard about this uh, comment in the media I think when the times comes near or when the times is is ready the government will talk like the movie Team Impact and they will say because you don't see nothing about El, uh, Comet Alan in, in the news media and they will say that they was working to get this comet or something but they fail. Maybe like the movie. I don't know. But I know that L in that comet in the name means something big and huge and is extinction level. So people you need to, to stay focused on this uh, situation. And I will say I will not take much care about the pole shift right now. And I will take care more about this upcoming event about the L event because an extinction level event is a worldwide event not a specifically area it's a worldwide event so 11.9 coming extinction level event coming on Comet Alanine that's how I want to talk uh, today thank you and goodbye